Retain gang, what's poppin', man? This is your boy Tay. Back at y'all again with another video, man. Hey, peace and abundance to everybody watching right now. But before we start, make sure you guys hit that like button. Follow me on all my socials, Discord, IG, TikTok, all the above. I greatly appreciate you. Today's video, we're gonna get a little personal. I'm gonna be transparent with y'all on this one because I wasn't always the man that I am today. Some of you guys see me and you think that I've always been like this, but I have a very dark past as well. And I've came a long way. And I know some of you guys might be going through a situation where you're trying to find yourself. You might be at a crossroads where you don't know which direction to go. You're feeling lost. I'm here to tell you I was in the same position. Seven years ago, before my spiritual awakening, I wasn't living right. One of the worst things that ever happened to me was to lose everything. Everything that I worked hard for. Losing my relationship. Not having any money. You know, blowing through my savings. Not knowing what I wanted to do with my life. Living at home. You know, I was 25. Back at home, no money. Now, I know money ain't everything, but to have no self-awareness, no self-love, and then be broke, you can't have, you can't be all three now. You gotta, you gotta have something going for yourself. I was at a very low point in my life. You know, I wasn't taking care of myself, going out every weekend, spending money I don't have, going to the bars, watching the corn. You know, I had a terrible corn addiction at the time. When you're at rock bottom, one thing about it is, it's easy for you to pick up bad habits because you need something to cope with. You need something to escape your reality with. And by me putting all my energy into these toxic habits, I started losing respect from everybody around me, even my family. But it was on me because I didn't respect myself. So how could I expect respect when I didn't have it for myself? You feel what I'm saying? Every day I woke up, I would look in the mirror and I would hate the person that I saw. You know, so one day I looked at myself, face was breaking out. You know, I wasn't eating right. I just wasn't taking good care of myself. And I said to myself, I need to make a change. I need to take better care of me. And what better way to present yourself well than to have a high quality skincare routine? This is why I'm proud to say that T. Shinley is sponsoring today's video. Guys, I've been working with T. Chinley for over a year now, and I love the results that I've been getting. Every time I go out, I get compliments on my skin and how well it looks, how clean it looks. People always ask, what do I do to keep my skin so clear? I tell them, work out, I eat right, and I make sure that I stay consistent with my skincare routine. It's that simple. And T. Chinley is very simple to use. They give you everything that you need to be successful on your journey. You get a face wash, you get a face scrub, a super serum, AM moisturizer to keep your skin hydrated throughout the day, and a PM moisturizer to repair damaged skin and to protect your skin at night. And if you're still lost, they give you this instruction card that tells you when and how to use it. And because T. Shinley is sponsoring today's video, they're giving all my viewers a special deal. You get 30% off your first box plus a free gift. You get to choose between a dive kit or a towel. So guys, this is an amazing deal. You don't want to pass this up. Hit the link in the description and tap in with T. Shinley today. So I remember this like yesterday, man. I was at the track. And as I was leaving the track, it was like I had this moment of just peace. It was like I left this dimension. I was in a whole nother dimension and I felt like a big change was coming in my life. Right. I remember this guys like it was yesterday. The wind was blowing. It was a very peaceful moment. It was almost like God took me into the, the world in between worlds and was having a conversation with me, you know, because I've been asking the questions like, what is my purpose? I don't like the man that I am. I don't like the man that I see in the mirror. I want to change for the better. I want to become a better version of myself. It's like 
the most High pulled me aside and was having a conversation with me. Are you really ready for this? You know, and from that moment on, it was like the old me died and the new me was being rebirthed. And this is when I went through my spiritual awakening. I was never the same after that. Right. I started doing my research. This is when I got on to retention. Start learning about that. Started getting rid of that corn addiction because that was killing my energy with the corn addiction. Man, I had all type of entities trying to attack me. I was getting attacked in my sleep. Waking up, seeing all type of entities around me. And I told myself, this has to stop. And it takes sometimes for a traumatic experience for you to spark that awakening. For you to spark that change in your life. I know a lot of you guys might be going through this right now. But trust me, what you're going through, the experience that you're having, is for a reason. Because you're about to level up. You're about to go to a whole other dimension within yourself. You feel me? Just like on Dragon Ball Z when Goku fought Frieza. And, you know, he was getting his ass kicked. But when he saw Krillin get killed, he saw all his friends get killed. It sparked an awakening inside of him. And this is when he became Super Saiyan. But it took for that traumatic experience for him to become his best version. The same thing happens to us, guys. For you to really pull out that light and your full potential you got to go through some things life life ain't easy but it's designed to be that way you're here to become a better version of yourself not to have a cakewalk you're not here to be lazy to sit on your couch all day and just have everything handed to you no life is going to kick you in the ass sometimes but it's all about your reaction what do you choose to do? Do you choose to sit down, lay down, or do you choose to get back up? See, when I was going through my low moment, I could have went any route. You know, I was already getting addicted to the wrong things, but I could have went even worse. Right? I could have I could have let those addictions take over my life to the point where it led me down a road of destruction, a road of not even being alive. True story. But luckily, I still had some strength within me. And I was always a competitor. And it took for me to go through a situation so I can remember who I was. When I ran track, whenever I fell, when, whenever I lost a race, I didn't mope around. I didn't quit on myself. I went to practice and went hard and went harder and went harder. I pushed myself to the limit. Even if I did throw up at the end. Even if I was so tired, had so much lactic acid built up that I couldn't even walk. I didn't want to take no more L's. So I made sure that I pushed my body past its limits. So when I go into my race, it's like clockwork. I don't have no doubt in my skills because I put the work in. You might look at somebody's life and say, man, I wish I, wish I had their life. I wish I could live the way they live in right now. But you don't know what they're going through behind closed doors. Right. Everybody's going through something. They might not be going through the same exact situation that you are, but the feeling, whatever they're going through, the feeling is the same. When it's all said and done, we're all going through something that affects us mentally, physically, spiritually. So you got to focus on your journey. It's for you. You're going through all this for a reason so you can level up so you can see that you're a badass. You truly are. But if we never get kicked down, if we never have to go through any pressure, how, how can we figure that out? I didn't know how great I could be in track until I started making mistakes, right? My first college race, my freshman year, I failed. I was so embarrassed, right? Because I thought coming from high school that I was great. I was great in high school, but college was a whole new level. So that broke my ego. But I needed my ego to be broken so I can be built back up into a better version of myself. So I had to tear down everything that I thought I knew about myself and relearn who I was so I can become even greater than I was. You're going through a hard time right now to break down your ego so you can build yourself back up, be reborn. 
Be greater. Be better. Transition is always uncomfortable. So you might be in this situation and you don't know what's next. You might feel like all hope is lost. It's not. I didn't understand what was going on in my life back then, but now I know it was for me to be the man that I am today. So I can give you guys my testimony. So I can help like-minded men get through their situation. You know, I was working jobs that I hated. I hated the jobs that I was working at. But looking back, I know I had to go through that for a reason. This is why I tell you guys to meditate. Go back to your past and just reminisce on things you went through. There's gems in your past that can teach you a lesson for now. You know, my first job, I was working at a pharmacy. And I learned communication skills there. How to speak to people on a professional level and on just a, a peer level. You know, I was speaking to doctors and, and prescribers. And then I also had to talk to regular customers. And this is a pharmacy. So most people that come in are sick. They're coming to get their medicine. So they're not in the best mood. And you got to know how to speak to people like that under pressure. Right? Maybe lift their spirits up. So I learned communication skills. My next job working in the lab, I learned how to be a leader. How to be a hard worker. Right? How to make decisions under pressure. I wasn't always like this, guys. I was a quiet, chill dude. You know what I'm saying? I didn't talk a lot. And I never thought I would have the confidence to come on here and speak to people all over the world, people I don't even know. But it took for me to go through that transition of different jobs and different life experiences to build up my skill set, to find my purpose. So a lot of you guys out there that's lost, you find your purpose through your life experience. This is your story. This is your book. You're writing your book as we speak. Everything that you're going through right now is leading you to your purpose. You got you to gotta find the pieces and put them together. See, nobody else can do that for you. You got to do it for yourself. The worst thing that ever happened in my life was the best thing that ever happened to me. Everything that I went through changed my life forever. I know how to deal with myself. Now I know who I am. And I'm still learning. I'm still leveling up. But now I know how to transition a little smoother a little bit better i'm gonna give you guys some advice one thing that i i learned from all my experiences that's helped me even today whatever you're going through whatever situation you're in i don't care how chaotic it is you got to know how to find your peace you got to know how to find your zen Right? I don't care if you're homeless, you're on the streets, you ain't got no food to eat, you don't know how you're going to pay your bills. Learn to find your peace in the present moment. You're a blessing. It's a blessing for you just to be alive right now, to take a breath. That's life. Every time you take a deep breath in, that's life. Be grateful. Show gratitude for the things that you have going good for you right now. Because what you're going through, it's only as real as you make it. It's only as real as you make it. You can always change your reality. That's what I learned, but it starts with you being at peace. Right, see life is a game. It's just a game. So play the game. Don't let the game play you. Don't let the game control you. Right? Let's say I was to pass away today. You know, God forbid, knock on wood. But if I was to, you know, transcend today, bills, relationships, what I'm stressing about, getting something to eat. All these things don't matter once I transcend. They don't. It's just like a game of Monopoly. You know, you got all this money, you got all this property. Well, when the game is over, all the pieces go back into the box. This life is temporary. And it's here for you to experience. That's it. So play the game. Change your mindset and you're going to see your reality change. Be at peace when everything is chaotic around you. You will see yourself come out on top every time. That's the secret. All right, guys. So if you're going through something right now, man, hang in there. 
use my testimony as motivation that one day you will be the best version of yourself you have all the potential you have all the ingredients but you got to go through the process okay if you still need help if you're lost trying to find your way i do one-on-one -on -one consultations hit my link in my description or in my pinned comments but y'all have a beautiful day man and i'm out peace